التي أحيا نصيبي من مآسيكم وأهديكم ضياع عيني ودفء القلب أعطيكم فمأساة التي أحيا نصيبي من مآسيكم أناديكم أشد على أياديكم وأبوس الأرض تحت نعالكم وأقول أفديكم أناديكم أشد My name is Muhammad Rafa. I'm a Syrian actor. I live in Syria, uh, Palestinian origin. Uh, actually, I've been in Syria for 30 years. Uh, well, last year uh, we went to the Palestinian border. Uh, Palestinian people are Syrian people, are some of Arab people. They went to uh, the Palestinian border, border on Konaitra, to the Konaitra. It's uh, which means it's. Uh, one hour, one hour and a half far from here. Uh, it was Nakba day, uh, which is uh, uh, the day for Palestinian people is very important day to remember it. Uh, we were protesters in the bo in, on the border. So uh, the Israeli people was soldiers, I mean. They start to shoot us and throw gas uh, bombs on us. And then they start to shoot us with real uh, bullets. Which, uh, and I had my cousin, he died because of this in front of my eyes. Uh, I couldn't do anything. I was only throwing stones to them and they are shooting us by bullets and gas, uh, uh, poison gas. I, I think poison, something poison. It's not normal gas like the police one, no. I think something with poison. So I lost my cousin and a lot of friends there in the on the uh, Palestinian border. I feel, I feel bad about this because, you know, Syria is the last co Arab country who uh, is against Israel and the uh, United States and the whole uh, countries like Britain and other countries. So I think they're gonna, they, this conspiracy is it, it made to, to destroy Syria because it's the key for the M Middle East. You know, it's the key for Palestine. It's the key for Jolan, it's the key for uh, Lebanon, south of Lebanon. And we can't uh, fight the whole world alone. That's why uh, the God sent us uh, lovely countries and friends, and real friends like Russia, China, Iran, uh, uh, Latin America, to, to protect us, you know, like to help us to uh, fight Israel, which is my real enemy as a Syrian and a Palestinian. But the problem that uh, the Arabs people and Arabs leaders are fighting me to serve Israel. I'm, I'm, I'm like a brother to them, you know? I don't know why, why they are fighting me as a Syrian. We are like brothers. We must fight Israel together because Israel came and took our land. Yeah, that's uh, the problem that we have uh, also Arab people, uh, they came to make jihad in Syria, you know, against the br his brothers. When these people are Qaeda, which has no religion, they are not Muslims, they are Christians, they don't know even God, I think. They're only terrorists, they want to kill, they were going to bombs, they want to do a lot of terrorist things, you know. They don't, they don't have a difference between Muslim, Christian, Jewish. I respect all the, the, the religions. But I, I want to tell that my first enemy is Israel, so I'm going to tell these people to go and fight Israel in the Palestine lands and be like Fida'iyeh, which is the, the, the most strongest men in the whole world, the Fida'iyeh, Fida'iyeh Palestine. You know, that's, that's real men. Actually, we have a problem in Syria, and some of the protesters are, are in right. 
uh, but they are not right about uh, the whole system. I mean, the whole system, which uh, means like, uh, I mean, the prime minister and the ministers, uh, we have a lot of problems in this. Well, but we can't say anything about Mr. Bashar al-Assad because he's the president and the president always look for the outside politics, you know, and he arranged uh, to put some prime ministers and ministers to help the people inside the country, you know. So it's, it's not his own business to look after each one in the country. I mean, like, uh, as, a, as a citizen, you know. Uh, we have a problem in, in, in prime ministers and ministers and we're all against it. We all with Mr. Bashar to collect, uh, to make a correction, you know, to, to, to correct the whole system because we don't want to lose this system, which means we are we're defending about our lands against Israel and, and against the United States. And about the Alawin thing in Syria, who's saying, and who's saying that uh, the Alawin is controlling the whole of Syria, uh, actually, I didn't realize from 13 years ago and it's in now that is a difference between Alawi and Sunni and Shia because as a Syrian we don't talk about this you know I swear I've never talked about this I've never told anyone what's my religion I'm a Muslim like blah 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 we've never talked about this you know we respect the whole th the, the all, all, all of uh, at, uh, religions and everything like Muslim Sunni Shia Alawi we have like I think I, I think we have more than 100 uh, religion in Muslims, three Muslims, you know? We've never talked about this. We live in peace, you see. There is a mosque and there is beside it church. And before it was, uh, what do you call it, uh, temple for, for the Jewish, yeah? We live in peace. We used to live in peace in Syria. Syria, it's uh, 1,000 year, 100, 1, years ago, the f civilization, is already on the land, Syrian civilization. About the West, uh, I want to tell something about the West. They're calling for our democracy and our freedom. Uh, people are killing in Gaza long time ago, and then killing in Palestine long time ago. They're killing in Somal, they're killing in Afghanistan, they killed in, in Libya, they killed everywhere. No one I, I never heard any one of them, he comes and say, yeah, I'm with the human rights, let's stop this, you know. Now they care about the Syrian people. No, it's really bad con conspiracy because I told you, they want to kill us because we, we, we are defeating our country and we are the last chance for the, uh, for the Arabs, you know, for the Arabs. I mean leaders, Arabs leaders, because they're all betraying us all of them do you think there is there is a, a revolution here no we have the rights to say what we want we we have the rights to go and protest as a protesters to say what we want but without guns you know without guns because i'm killing my brother in the army i'm killing my brother in the police you know it's not right it's not right at all uh, I want to tell who's telling us that we have a dictator, president. He's not dictator at all. I know him before he is a president, actually. I met him three times. He was a son of Hafez al-Assad, which is my uh, simple in life. Because I love Mr. Hafez al-Assad because he, defend about my, he defends my country, Palestine, and he wants to return it before Jolan. You know, and have, he's, he have never been in the United States, he have never seen the White House, he have never been in America. If you meet him in the street, you can realize that he's alone with his son, maybe his wife, maybe his family, alone by his car. And you can talk to him for like half an hour, he won't say, please, I want to leave. So we don't have a, dicta dicta uh, a dictator uh, president. Dictator president is killing people in the streets and he don't care about anything in Syria. He will just look for his uh, own things, you know, like collecting money, blah, 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 blah. He's not like this. He's a doctor. He, look, he looks after his people and I've seen it by myself. And you can ask anyone in the street to tell you he was really nice. He went to Hamas many, many, many times alone by himself. He went to Sweda by himself many, many times. He went to Dar al-Zor, al-Hasake. All around Syria, he's been there alone. 
even with this uh, with this uh, uh, terrible things which happened in Syria, you can see him alone by his own self with his son in the street. I met uh, the, my friends see saw him in uh, Mazze alone. He went to a restaurant and ate with he ate with his uh, son alone, and he was talking to people normal like uh, the people was telling him, "Come on, we need a solution, Mr. President. We need a solution." He said, "Calm down. We are giving." The, the chance for this for, for our people to get back to 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 the uh, his mentality real mentality you know to them real mentality and that's why he's giving them a chance we have a good mentality we have good people uh, we have uh, uh, the rights to change this uh, the system but the system with a leader our leader Bashar al-Assad and I, th and I think they're going to change a lot of things in Syria. Syria is going to be the, one of the best countries in the whole world because, you see, we have natural, we have water, we have oil, we have everything. We have peace in Syria. You can go out 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning by yourself with your freedom as a girl. No one will talk to you in the street. No one will, will touch you in the street. And, but now in this situation, you can't because there's terrorists all around Syria, you know. You told me when I go to Hamas, I told you don't go. And you lost one of your friends in Hamas. Because, because I know, I know, because I know what's happening in Hamas. I have many, many friends in Hamas. They're not protesters. They are really terrorists. There is a protesters, and but there is more than 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, I don't know the, the real number, of terrorists. Qaeda and the Libyan fighters who fought Muammar al-Qazafi. They fought... Muammar al-Qazafi, Muammar al-Qazafi was a good leader, Arabs leader. He fought with us Israeli people, he fought with us Saudi people, and he was really, really, really strong guy, like Saddam Hussein. Saddam is a dictator, I know that. He's a dictator, I know that. But Muammar is not dictator, and our president is not dictator at all. What is life like in Syria, and what will you lose if you lose your president? Let me tell you something about the Alawin thing here. I just remember to tell you a lot about the Alawis thing. Uh, Alawis people, they are really poor, poor, poor. They don't have much money. They live in the mountains. They live in a small houses with some trees, you know. They have kitchens, they have really poor, really lovely people. If you go to Latakia, to Tartus, any places of this, you will find what's the Alawis people. Alawis people is really poor, but Maybe some of the Alawin people who are sitting on the chair and, uh, you know, he's like a big guy in the government. If he treats someone bad, it doesn't mean all of the Alawin people are bad, right? Right? If he steals, which means not all of the Alawin people are thieves, right? That's what I'm talking about. Even if you're in your country, in your West, Western countries, there is still someone steals in the government, prime minister. I don't, I don't want to know their names. There is blackmail, corruption, and everything. Like Syria, like each world, any world in the whole world, you know, any any country. Uh, I think we can, uh, we can make, we, we can pass this, and we can uh, res uh, take our responsibility. If we see something wrong, we tell on our media, the free media. Uh, maybe in uh, in a series, maybe in a movie, you know, so everyone see the problem in this government. That's that's what we need, actually. That's what we need. Actually, I think even if we are poor, and we're not poor because we don't have money. Actually, we we are poor because we've been uh, our lands been taken from the French people and before, 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 and that uh, Osmanian which means Turkish people. Uh, that's why we are poor, because they took all of our oils and blah, 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 blah our money and everything. Even if we are, in, we, we, we are poor country, we have a free education, free medicine, free hospitals, uh, a lot of free things, in, in which you, you mean you don't have to pay for it. And it costs money. For, for the government, but you don't have to pay, pay money if you are a, a, a Syrian citizen, a Palestinian citizen, you don't have... Even I think the Iraqi people, any Arabs people, they can uh, 
study free uh, i think I, i don't know exactly but i think that but they can go for to the hospital for free any hospital for the government for free take a medicine everything uh and i think western they don't uh, western countries they don't have it you know even if we are poor but we are looking after our people and they don't look for them people look what happened in uh, los angeles in uh, wall street look what happened in london look what happened in israel look what happened even there is a uh, there is a by the way there is a protesters in saudi arabia there is a protesters in kuwait we've never seen it on tv why because the whole game is around syria they want to only fight syria they are concentrating about syria al jazeera is lying arabia is lying everyone is lying i don't know why